This is going to be a two part video. And in this part, I'm going to design this simple and minimalist website for an interior designer's business. And in the second part, I will recreate the design in WordPress using Gutenberg page builder. It will not cost me a penny. 100% free. Hi, I am Alex from essential web apps and we make videos on WordPress website and social media strategy, web design and development to see our regularly uploaded videos. Please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. Let's start with the frame. I'm going to pick this standard desktop size for this design. Let's change this frame's name. Always use forward slash instead of a hyphen. It will help you export the files in an organized way. Now it is always good to set every element of your design within 1024 pixels wide. That's how you can ensure that your website will fit properly within a smaller desktop screen. So as I took a 1440 pixel wide frame, if I eliminate about 200 pixel from both sides, it will be about 1000 pixels wide or maybe slightly larger. Let's start with a brand logo. Now the header menu. Put 20 pixel gap. I am using the Lexan font for this design. You will find it in Google fonts. Make the font weight light. As we are on the home page, let's increase the font weight a little. Put this underline under the menus, just make it more prominent. But not too much, so give it a light color. The rounded edge looks good. Center it. All right. Now, let's make a search box right here. 150 pixel wide and 45 pixel height is okay for here. I don't want any fill color for this. Let's put a search button with an icon here too. Give it a 5 pixel corner radius and good color. I use feather icon for all of my icons. Make it white for better contrast. Let's start designing the hero section. We have to keep in mind that this design should be recreatable using simple Gutenberg blocks in WordPress. Start with the display text. Fix the line height. Maybe increase the weight of this word for more emphasis. Make it all caps. Put a paragraph here. For display text, I'm selecting this color. But for the paragraph, I'm going to choose a bit lighter color. But not too much to lose the acceptable contrast. I don't want this in all caps, so remove that. Reduce the gap here a bit. And, this too. Just 
Just for aesthetics, let's remove these two words. I also want a button here. Simple. Nothing too fancy. When you design an UI, always consider the UX content writing. Words can affect the user's usability too. Finally, place the image. Perfect. Before I start to design the next section, let's increase the frame height. I will put a separator line between two sections. Nothing too prominent. I'm going to maintain about 100 pixels of padding for the top and bottom of the line. The next section is the service section. Let's give it a header 2 size. And make light in weight. Sorry my bad. Color it. Place an image here. Fix the margins and paddings. Add a paragraph. Now, I will make the services box. So, let's fast forward this part. The service section is completed. For the next section, let's copy this section heading first. Place the section border. Rename it to the portfolio. The line height of this header is not right. Let's fix it first. If you don't know the standard height, always put, auto. Put a paragraph. Then image. Another one in here. Now, place some text beside the image real quick. Okay. Copy it twice. Change the images. And, text too. This section is done. Move on to the next section. For the about section, I'm going to repeat a few steps as the previous section. Rename it. Place the image. I thought it would be a good idea if the client says about herself. So, it is a quote from the client. Fix the icon position. Here is the quote. I want it to be a bit more prominent on the page. So that, visitors can read it with minimum effort.
Place the name with the designation. Looks good. And, also simple enough for, Gutenberg Page Builder in WordPress. Every website should have a call to action section. And, we have to make sure, this section is properly visible on the page. Place an image. Using an overlay on the image. Give it transparency. Put the main text, same as the size of the header too. Let's put a paragraph too. Finally button. You know what, let's copy this one. I have to fix the padding manually, but it would be easier if it would be an auto layout component. That's my mistake. But you don't want to do the same, please check the video in the description below. Done. Finally the footer section. Place the brand icon. Then, address, contact, office hours. I want the social media links in here too. And, for the finishing touch, I will add copyright text. Some final polishing. I think it looks good and simple. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section. So, there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. I'm gonna recreate this Figma design, into a WordPress website, by using the Gutenberg page builder in the next video, for free. If you wanna see that, please subscribe and click the bell for notification. And, I will see you in the next video.